today we have a special guest, Mella. She came all the way from Spain just for this. <laughs> better be good. Yeah, better be good. <laughs> no pressure. So we're gonna be making chocolate Easter eggs, chocolate lollipops, chocolate everything Easter. So what you're gonna need, two dots. White chocolate and dark chocolate for, well, the chocolate things. An egg mold and lollipop, chocolate lollipop molds and mini egg molds and farm animal molds, well, any mold you like. Food coloring, lollipop sticks, little tools just to help us. And you can make parchment cones or just use Ziploc bags, that is fine. And you're gonna need a few bowls to melt your chocolate in. So let's get started! First thing you're gonna have to do is temper your chocolate. And since Mela is a school teacher, she will now teach us all how to do that. Well, I'm an English literature teacher, but I will try and give you a scientific explanation about tempering. So tempering is the process of melting your chocolate without losing its key uh, properties. And the idea is that it will retain its crispiness and crunchiness and its pretty shiny layer. That's correct. And we're going to temper our chocolate in the microwave, so you won't need any thermometers and weird things. Okay, so to temper your chocolate, you're going to want to bijou, aka blend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're going to want to blend your chocolate and then divide it in two thirds in one bowl and third in the other bowl and all you're gonna do is you're gonna put when Mella stops eating <laughs> you're gonna put the two-thirds in the microwave for 30 seconds and then you're gonna take it out and stir and then you're gonna put it back in for only 20 seconds and then you're gonna take it out and stir and you're gonna do this lowering the seconds so you're gonna end up with five seconds first until it is melted make sure you take it out of the microwave and stir because it will keep overheating. Little tip, do not use a glass bowl because it will keep the heat even when you take it out of the microwave so it will tend to overheat chocolate. And yeah, let's go. Once your chocolate is nice and melted, you're gonna, <laughs> you can go for it. You're gonna add your one third that was left over and you're gonna stir. It's most probably not going to melt, so you're gonna have to put this back in the microwave for five seconds and stir. And if it's still not melted, put it for another five seconds and then take it out and stir. <laughs> so once your chocolate is completely melted, like so. You eat it. <laughs> not yet. Uh, you get your egg molds. I have two so that I can put them together and I don't have to wait. Keep waiting. And well, in a lot of theory, this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to, and I say theory because I haven't done this before, but you basically pour the chocolate in here, mm -hmm. in the mold, and then you swirl it around to cover it. And then we're gonna put it like that because we want the edges to be thicker so that when it comes out, it can be. Oh, so together. it starts dripping down towards the edges. Okay. Yeah. Well, in, the, in theory, yeah. let this set for about 15 minutes and if you need to if it's really hot outside just put it in the fridge for as long as it looks solidified <laughs> so while the egg is in the fridge we're now gonna make mini eggs yay okay so we have melted white chocolate and dark chocolate and we're gonna put it in a Ziploc bag, super easy. Once you have neatly filled your Ziploc bags, <laughs> uh, take a pair of scissors and just cut the end off. Don't cut too much, just a little triangle. Okay, so we're gonna try and see. I'm gonna do the ribbon in this one and then you're gonna cover it with the dark chocolate, okay? Do you trust me? Yes, I trust you. I don't. Yay! We made a mini egg! 
Okay, now you can try and make the ribbon. Once you have filled your little mini eggs, you're gonna put them in the fridge for about 20 minutes at least. So now we're gonna try and make the lollipops and the molds. I have melted white chocolate, just like we did before, and now we're gonna put a little bit in here. Okay, so you're just gonna put a little bit of food coloring. Yeah, and then you take an, a spoon and you stir it in. Once you have all your chocolate colored, we're gonna start making the lollipops and we have lollipop sticks. And I'm gonna start making the little chick and I'm gonna make the flowers. Okay, so all you do is you take your spoon. Because these molds are quite big, we can try and just use a spoon. <laughs> you can put it in the Ziploc bag if you prefer. So I have already flooded one, but realized that if I let them set um, and then cover them with white chocolate, the detail is probably gonna be better because the weight of the white chocolate that we pour over might send the color out of the mold and out of the shape. So we're gonna put this in the fridge for about 10 minutes since the layer is really thin and then we're gonna flood them with white chocolate and put the lollipop stick. Okay, so now we're gonna make the molds in a similar way in which we did the lollipops, but these are a bit thicker so they should be easier. So we just pour the color and again we're just gonna make the decoration to the color and then we're gonna fill them after they set in the fridge for about five to ten minutes. So since we are gonna make these hollow, um, with some colors we have gone up the walls and we're gonna let this rest for about 10 minutes in the fridge and we're gonna turn it over like we did with the egg molds. Now these we just took them out of the fridge and as you can see they have set the color part and we're gonna make these hollow. So using, <laughs> Mara's making faces, using uh, the melted white chocolate we're just gonna go in from the edges and it's gonna drip down. And you're gonna put these in the fridge for another 15 to 20 minutes and judging from the thickness you have to be the judge of this you might need to do this procedure one more time and when you've done all of them you're gonna turn it upside down like we did before and you're gonna place it in the fridge that way so while the other things are setting in the fridge we're gonna try and get our egg molds out I think I'll watch <laughs> and turn it over and theoretically press Wow! It's so shiny. shiny! That looks great! Go me! Yay! It's great! Now we have two halves! How do we put them together? Two? <laughs> no. So to join the eggs together, we're gonna try, since we do have two molds, we're gonna put this in and then we're gonna put the little toy inside. You get a bit of chocolate and we're gonna go all around the edges. And now we're going to seal it off. Just like that. Our mini eggs have been sitting in the fridge and they seem to be done. And you're gonna need a plate that you have previously put in the microwave. It's nice and warm. <laughs> it's nice and warm, not steaming hot. And we're gonna hopefully get these out. Aww. So to join them together, you place on the plate with two halves just for a second because it's gonna melt and then you just put them together and you made a mini egg with a ribbon we have now taken the lollipops <gasps> out oh God, they look great they look cute and we're gonna try and pop them out of the mold without breaking them okay so we're gonna 
turn them over. Oh, oh, oh my god, I hope they come out. Oh my god, it's hello. Oh my god, they're coming out! Oh, come on. Stupid bunny! Oh no, he's gonna break. Bunny is resisting. Shotgun the broken bunny. Wait, let's take these out. Oh my god, adorable. They are adorable. Why don't we warm it no, up? No, it's coming. <gasps> I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now Abra it's me and you. I'm Bunny. Eden versus Bunny. Come on, Easter Bunny. <laughs> <gasps> no, 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 no. <laughs> Massage his head a bit. <laughs> a bunny spa. <laughs> That's what it means. Just... Don't be a party pooper. <laughs> no, it's gonna break. Well, he deserves it now. Okay, so we made three long. <laughs> no, well, the bunny did not come out, but I blame Mella. <laughs> That's hardly fair. No, okay. We all made it. <laughs> well, these are cute. They are very cute. We just took the green molds out of the fridge and we did do a second layer because they were too thin. And let's take them out. Let's see what happens. Wow. Oh, yay. That is so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, let's see if the others come out. Let's see the cheek hole. It's not hatching. It's not hatching. Ah, it's hatched. There we go. I think I would put them down. Oh no, bun all our bunnies broke today! Oh no! Well, we can eat this one. I think I will test it. But the ears are cute. And it has mm. a really good snap. It's crunchy. Mm, it tastes delicious. Mm, it's chocolate. You've been eating it all day. Don't act like you've never tasted this chocolate. <laughs> Here they are. We have a cupcake, the butterfly, the egg, the chicken, the bell, and in spirit, the bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, bunny. Ta da! Ta da! The <laughs> egg came out of the mold, and it has no holes. Woo! And now we're gonna try and decorate it with, I'm gonna write my nephew's name on it. And to do that, we're gonna pop it back into the mold so that we have a little stand. And yeah, we're gonna attempt to ride. <laughs> I think that looks good. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> well, he's four, so he'll appreciate. Yes, my... maybe he'll think one of his friends from school made it for him. <laughs> hey, so this is what we've made. We have the little hollow chocolate things, the mini eggs, the big egg, the lollipops, and since all of our bunnies <laughs> collapsed, we brought a real bunny. This is the oh, the real bunny. <laughs> this is the Easter bunny over here. Yes. So cute, and her name is Cookie. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, a like and give us a thumbs up. I definitely had a good time today. That's good. Thanks for being here. Thank you for inviting me. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time. Bye.